A Las Vegas bride jilted by her wedding dress shop. She says the store just abruptly closed its doors. So she had to scramble to find the perfect dress just a month before her big day. Fox 5's Tiana Bonner looked into this, and Tiana turns out she's not the only bride affected. Yeah, I talked to two brides who had very similar stories. They both found their perfect dress here at the shop called Fit for a Bride. And you can see that for rent sign up now, but they said suddenly they stopped hearing from the shop's owner. We met eight years ago. Ashley Gessler found her man, the date June 1st, and her dream venue. All she was missing was the perfect dress. It's in all of your pictures. It's something you most people keep forever. Back in November, she thought she found it at the store fit for a bride. Something about this dress was like the beading was incredible. Like it was just it looked like a princess dress and I didn't think I could find that anywhere else. Ashley paid for the dress and then she waited until January when suddenly she had a hard time reaching the store owner. So I tried calling her and she'd email me and then I was getting nervous so my mom started emailing her. All of those are just excuses she gave me. Ashley said the replies were short. Um, and then she just kept telling us she'd let us know, she would let us know. Until she got an email. Fit for a Bride was closing. And that they're mailing dresses out so that they needed everybody's address. Ashley says her $2,500 gown got shipped in this box. And everything about it is just... What she pulled out... There's like no boning inside. Wasn't what she expected. I don't know, it's really cheaply made, it looks like, for the price we paid at least. She thought she was getting a custom hand-beaded dress from Europe. And this one has a tag inside that says made in China. The beading is just kind of attached to an a generic overlay, like a see-through um, piece of tool that it's attached to, and the whole look of the dress just, it looks like a Halloween costume. It wasn't the right size or the right shape. The other one was fitted and then it dropped at the waist, and this one fits like a potato sack. She tried to contact the store owner again, but got no reply. In this industry, I just don't think you can just close shop. Like, she should have tied up her loose ends, finished fitting all of us. Leaving Ashley scrambling to say yes to a new dress. I had everything. This was like the last piece of the wedding, and now I have to find a new dress. And I reached out to the store's owner, Debbie Rangel. She told me she knows about these complaints. She had a family emergency come up and had to close her store in April. Since then, she's been in and out of town, but she believes she's done the best she could, making sure these brides got what they paid for. Debbie told me she sent every bride the correct dress and added, dresses are never sold with the bustle built in. That's something that has to be added during alterations. Debbie says she's been in this business for 35 years, and so she never expected that she'd have to close her shop so abruptly someday. Reporting live, Tiana Bonner, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.